Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bernadette from Burn Stitches. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's been about a week since my last video. Um, I know, right? Just one week, but I just got back from Stitch West. And so I wanted to make sure that a lot of the details are fresh in mind. Otherwise, if I do this, um next week i probably won't remember as much just because there's so many things that happen so let's go ahead and get started um stitch west was amazing uh i had a lot of fun i think to be quite honest i loved it a lot more than last october i think last october i was just really tired from just coming back from Queen City, which was my very first retreat. And so this time it's been six months since my last one. And so it was just so cool. Um, there were so many of you that came up to me. I totally appreciate it. Um, I can't wait. I've made a lot of new connections. Um, I followed a lot of brand new people, both on Instagram and Flosstube um that i've met it was so great um really appreciate it it was just overall amazing like i can't i can't stop saying that but it's true i had a really great time um and of course as all things stitch west i have to go get my shopping on so let me just give you a preview Holy crap. um and i got my water bottle But this is my bag and it is filled with goodies. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna do like a full Stitch West recap. I'm gonna be pulling things out of this bag, tell you all about my experience in case you are interested. There is going to be another Stitch West this year. It will be in the fall for October. I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going um, because I am going to a different retreat the, the month beforehand and I don't know if I have enough PTO days but um, I'll try to make it happen if possible. So um, I got into Utah Thursday morning. I had a really early flight. My flight was at 5.30 out of Oakland here in the Bay. I <laughs> I almost had a heart attack because I felt like I was going to miss my flight. I underestimated how long Uber is going to take to my house. Um, originally it said there was gonna be like a driver like four minutes away and then that didn't happen. It actually took 15 minutes to get to my house uh, luckily, the Oakland airport is not very far, but then when I got to the airport, I think there was like a big tournament that was um, that was happening. And so there were tons of kids at the airport and they were flying to a different city. But I flew Southwest, it was completely packed. Um, but luckily there was like, I think like a chaperone. She was basically like, just yelling at all of the kids, like going like, you go over here, like you go over there, you know, like just making sure everything was, um, you know, that they're all like in sync and going through. So dropped off my bag, um, shout out to Southwest for giving us two free checked in bags each time. Um, okay, so that happened. And then I was like, cool, I just need to get through security and then I'm good to go. And usually, Security goes by really fast for me. I have TSA pre, but then that morning, the freaking line for TSA pre goes all the way to the back of the wall on the other side of the airport. I was in mad panic because by the time I was able to drop off my bag, it was 4.30. And my flight starts morning at 4.55. Now, if you fly Southwest, you know that there's no assigned seating. It's basically first come first serve and it's based on the time that you checked in. Like, you know, you get like your group, your group letter and the number and that's how you get to pick your, your seat like earlier. 
I was in, I actually had an A boarding group. And so I wanted to get there. Um, and yeah, I was just like in a mad panic because I was like, oh my God, why is the line so long? This is TSA pre, am I in the right line? Because usually regular is the one that's completely backed up. But during this day, both lines were completely backed up. I wish that I had signed up for clear because I do have the, um, I do have it as part of my credit card. I just never had a chance to enroll. But luckily, the security line ended up moving faster than I expected. I was able to get through security by 4.50. So that left me with five minutes until the boarding time. And then after I got through security, the gate was all the way on the other all the way on the end so I power walked so fast um at that time you know I realized like okay I am gonna make my plane it's just that I probably will miss my boarding like with my group and I'll probably have to you know be with like the B or the C so I power walk like crazy my heart was racing like my apple watch said like my heart rate was like over 160 <laughs> at like 5 a.m. Um, but I completely made it. Luckily, it took a little, like there's a slight delay in boarding. And so I was able to make it on time. Um, I got to the gate as soon as they started calling the A group. So it turned out to be fine anyway. The plane was half empty, which was great. I didn't have anyone sit next to me in the middle aisle. So I ended up getting the window. Um, yeah, it was great. There was no turbulence. Everything was a smooth ride. And then I got to Salt Lake. I think it was pretty much like smooth wind. Like I said, there was no turbulence. And then um, I actually ended up getting there earlier. My flight was supposed to land at 810 and I swear that we got there by 755 and so as soon as I was done I was texting um, Jordan because she was gonna come and pick me up um, and yeah I told her like hey I actually landed but looks like I'm landing on the B gate which was it just if you've been to Salt Lake it is so far it's like a 30 minute walk from B to baggage claim I'm sure it's not 30 but it feels like that um but yeah so I ended up getting off the plane took my sweet time um since she wasn't like she was just about to leave her brother's house and so it took my time got to baggage claim like by the time I got to baggage claim this is how far it was my luggage was actually already circling around um that has never happened before that has only happened to me at salt lake because that's just how far the gates are um yeah it turned out to be a very beautiful day we had breakfast at this place called biscuit and hog and we <laughs> we ordered um we ordered like a like an egg dish and then it comes well, like mine came with a side of pancake her she ordered like a pancake combo and so i'm gonna see if i can pull a picture but the size of this was ridiculous i should have like known when they were talking about like i mean it was called biscuit and hog um i just didn't put two and two together but wow by the time we got the pancake both me and Jordan were like, are you serious? This is how big the pancakes are. Um, but <laughs> look how big those pancakes are. They are ginormous. Um, and that's how much I've eaten. It was so big. I think like we could have fed like five people with this one pancake. It was huge, like, holy moly. <laughs> it was huge. Um, it was cool. Um, got to try Swig. Um, I did try Swig last year, but I just got, like, a regular Diet Coke with, like, something. But this time I tried one of the actual, like, I think this was one of their most popular drinks. It's the one with the Diet Coke and, like, a coconut cream on it. 
it was actually really good i was glad to be able to try it and then of course we went to shepherd's bush um i think overall in total for this trip we went to shepherd's bush three times thursday friday saturday um so yeah i'm gonna show you a very big shepherd's bush haul after this um that was super fun uh shepherd's bush was such a dream um then friday um friday is the start of stitch west so we actually headed down early because jordan and lorinda who is jordan's mother-in-law they're both vending for the event and so we went and helped them set up their booth so we helped jordan set up her project bags on her booth and then um lorinda went all out with her decor and so we helped set her set her uh set up her booth as well that was super fun um i've never worked retail so uh you know it was cool like being able to help set up like all of like the magnets and all of like her scissor fobs and all of that and putting it together got some you know lessons from rocio on how to like attach some of the hooks um because my brain for some reason was not like wrapping my head around it um but yeah it was so fun to help out and then um as a thank you she ended up giving us a mary crow shirt it was super cute it's basically like a crow with a top hat he's like a gentleman i would show you the shirt but i already put it in the laundry because i wore it um saturday but we also took a group picture and it was so cute um here is the four of us and lorinda at her booth wearing the mary crow shirt that was super cute um really loved it um what else happened i'm going all over the place <laughs> stitch fest was a lot of fun um yeah like like i said um okay so i'm probably gonna be just jumping around just because there's quite a lot so um let's see thursday um thursday we did some gift exchanges so um First of all, um, I got some gifts for my birthday. So my birthday is at the end of the month, and so we did um, we did some gift exchanges. So um, I have so much. I'm trying to figure out where everything is. I might just pull this out after and have this be a haul, if that's the case because this bag is deep. But um, we did some gift exchanges. Um, I got a gift from Amy, um, and I'll show you that in a bit. I also got a gift from Jordan. Um, it was really pretty floss drops. Um, and then, so I have been talking about a secret stitch for a few videos now that I have not been able to share with you and so really excited that this is the secret stitch so um for when we sign up for stitch west um he, for spring um jordan and i um have become our have decided that we are going to be roommates for this retreat and so we then decided to do a stitch exchange so I found, um, we found this pattern from Pansy Patch Quilts called The Retreat House. Um, I've always loved this pattern and I showed it to Jordan and she said like, oh, you know, I would love to stitch that for you. And so uh, we decided that we are going to stitch it for each other and then exchange it as Stitch West, you know, as like a gift to each other as roommates. It was so fun to do this. Um, we basically just took the pattern and then we made some um, some color changes um, based on what we think each other would like. And so on Thursday night, we did our exchange and this is the piece that Jordan gave me. 
this is really pretty i love that she changed the colors of the dresses this is supposed to be me my favorite color is yellow and so she changed the dress to match my favorite color um i absolutely love all of the color changes it turned out so beautiful. I love the fabric that she picked out. I believe this is blush from Atomic Ranch. It is so pretty. And then she finished it off this beautiful frame. So I am so excited to um, put this up on my wall. I just need to get something to put on it. I'm so excited. I was like amazed when I saw this. It is so beautiful she also backstitched the retreat house sign and i believe she changed these colors there's a lot of color adjustments between the two of us um we also underestimated the size of this it looked a lot smaller <laughs> in the model picture so luckily we gave uh, we gave us enough time i believe we started stitching these in February and so um, yeah it gave us plenty of time to finish um, it just went by so fast I love it so much it is so beautiful thank you so much Jordan um, I did take a picture of mine so you can see it um, Jordan has also posted it on her um, on her floss tube so if you'd like to see this one this is what mine looks like um this is the one that i gave jordan um i framed it and then we took a photo together but for some reason it's not in here i'll post it later on instagram and you guys can see um but yeah that was super sweet i've never stitched for anyone before this was actually super fun um yeah i would totally do this again okay <clears throat> um what else oh so because i um i saw jordan in person i also ended up coming back home with my round robin pinup girl piece so this is completely finished i am so happy um so this is the completed piece that i got back so this is with everybody so it started off with me passed it on to jamie then it went to um did i do that right yeah, then it went to Mary, and then Maggie, Amber, and then Jordan. So this is so pretty. Um, this is um, this fabric is from Be Stitch Me. This was part of like one of their Fabric of the Month Club collection a long time ago. I think this is called sun power something like that this is on a 32 count opal i think it's 32 i think i'm pretty sure i was on the 32 count opal club for a while but yeah this is the fabric hi ah, so pretty to see everything finished i'm still trying to figure out how i'm gonna ffo this but um i felt so proud because i have half the fabric used only so i'm gonna cut the other half to size so i can use it for a different soda project um i might do like a flat fold or something like that we shall see but i'm really excited that this has finally come home um i had a great time finishing these so I'm so excited um to finally take this home okay so there's that um okay so table gifts so like i said stitch west started um thursday so table gifts i 
end up bringing boba bags for my table. I ordered 10 of these. This is from my sister. My sister crochets and she has an Etsy store. This is her, um, this is her Etsy store name, Amiguru B. Um, her name is Beatrice, so that's why it's a B. It is so cute. She designed this tag and everything. She made this out of the Cricut that we got her for Christmas. And she made everyone a small size boba bag. So it does fit like a like a small boba like cup container um which we drink a lot of but i asked her um because i was i don't know i didn't think that boba was gonna be available everywhere for the lady so i said like you know they drink a lot of sodas can you like make one that will also fit that so this also is a perfect fit for that if you want to put like your diet coke or things like that it also is a perfect fit so I, this is my own one, but she basically um, made different colors. So she had like a green, basically each one represents a boba flavor. So this is the original milk tea. There was a purple one for taro, the pink for strawberry, the orangey one for a Thai milk tea. There's a green one that is matcha. Yeah, really cute, right? Okay and then um so on our table we were table 14 on our table um we basically have so this is me i had amy x stitching and adventures then amber rogue mama stitch oh no sorry next to amy was this um this new girl that joined our table her name is tammy um this was her table gift for us, which is so beautiful. It is a very nice, very well-made basket. Look at that. I used it to store my, um, my floss. It's beautiful. But so next to Amy was Tammy, then Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher. And then there was a empty seat, which was the Primrose Cottage um, seat. So what happened was the primrose ladies um took turns sitting at everyone's table so that you know you get time with the designer that was really sweet that was actually a really great idea it was great to get to know the team um so then the primrose then we have carolyn um who is um lorinda's friend um she was so sweet um she gave us um like a bag of um actually this bag i love it it says carolyn from idaho um but with this it came with this huckleberry jam that i can't wait to try this weekend when i get some bread um there's a few chocolates that i haven't tried yet but everyone has said this was really great and then she also had a a bag that has like the scissors in it um it's somewhere in my large bag that i'll be showing in a bit so that was carolyn and then lorinda and then rocio cocohama stitchery and then jordan the tattooed stitcher next to me so it was a fun table i had a lot of fun um we had a lot of snacks uh we went to i think it's called a smith's we don't have one in california so i'm not sure or at least we don't have one in the bay so I've never been inside one, um, but it was fun. Um, had a lot of gummy worms and all of that stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, showed you the gifts. All right, um, overall, I really enjoyed the Primrose Cottage presentation. They also had a really good, um, they also gave us like, um a lot of freebies um i don't have all of the freebies i can't find the first freebie that they gave us but when i sat down um at my table they had given us like two pieces of this dmc dmc 780 and 501 it also came 
with a B. I have it like a, like I think it's a pet. It doesn't actually stick, but this is the B. Um, and then, yeah, there was like a note in there. It's somewhere in my bag. I'll show that over. Um, and then there were tons of people giving away like their um their table gifts to everybody so that was really cute i received a lot of things um i got um someone came around i wish i got their name but it's a key ring with the needle threader these are godsend um cam gave us the cutest thing look at this frog pin she made this all by hand look at that it is so cute um i also received a floss wand from sharon sharon stitching pretty i have so much um i'm gonna show it as i as i go through um there's just so much i did bring my stitchy case which was very successful. I, I, I used it quite a lot. Um, yeah, so really excited um, about everything. Uh, we had some really good food. I was very surprised at Ogden about how great the food is just because like, I feel like I wasn't expecting that to be quite honest. Um, <clears throat> because it's such a small town, but they had a lot of good food. We had um, the boba place was really good. I was so happy to be able to show people um, boba because a lot of them have never had it before. And so we went one day, um, we also had Tanghulu. I've actually never had it, um, but I saw it and I tried it, it was so good. We had the one with the strawberries and that was delicious we went to sonora grill tried the queso um because kef was raving about it it was good they had really good margaritas um i had two <laughs> they were advertising it as the cadillac of margaritas that was really good we also did hibachi i've never tried like teppanyaki before so that was really fun rika um the house of stitch and stash invited us to dinner with her and so we went that was super cool um the guy flung the shrimp and lorinda have managed to catch like almost all of it she was a freaking pro that was like <laughs> that was so cool um but yeah it was great to like um you know get to spend time with people that was really nice um uh Rika and I had Filipino food. I was very surprised they had Filipino food, <laughs> um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed my Halo Halo. Um, I we had um, the girls try it, so that was great. Um, I love being able to like share, like you know, food from like like our culture, and so that was fun. Um, yeah, I ate a lot. I laughed a lot. My voice is just coming back. I drank a lot of sugary drinks, more than water. I had a, I had to suck on a lot of cough drops because my mouth was so dry. Um, but yeah, overall, it was such a great experience. Everyone was so sweet. I met a ton of people. I finally met some of the floss tubers that I have been watching. So I finally met Debbie, Mama Bear Citri. She's so cute. She gave us like, um, she had like a, like a plate um, of gummy bears that she had made like into like little keychain key fob things. So I took a bunch, I'm gonna put them in the zippers of my bag. We got to take a picture with the Primrose Cottage team on the last day. So I'm so glad that we didn't miss it. We actually took it right before we all checked out of our hotel. So that was really nice and it was really great um, getting to know them. Uh, it was very sweet of them to sit one at a time at everyone's table so that we get to chat with them. Primrose is actually the 
um, their videos are actually the ones that I watch to figure out how to create pillows. So that was amazing to actually see them in person. They have a very, very like calming presence. So that was really great. Um, it was so nice to, you know, always spend time with my friends and being able to see them had so much laughter. Um, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, I highly encourage you all to come to a retreat if you are thinking about it. I think it's such a great, it's just a great time, especially like being in a room where everyone's mindset is all about stitching. Like you, I don't know about you guys, but like I don't really have anyone around me that does stitching. Like uh, my mom still occasionally stitches, but she doesn't stitch as much as she used to. So, you know, I don't really have anyone here locally that I can hang out with and just stitch. So I always cherish, you know, I always cherish just retreats because it's just so fun. You're probably not going to get a lot of stitching done. It just really depends. But, you know, there's just something different about being in a room full of stitchers. So that was amazing. All right, <clears throat> are you all ready for the haul? Um, this is a combination of haul plus freebies. So I know some people get triggered by haul. I'm gonna warn you that it's a lot of haul. It's a lot of haul and I'm not sorry about it. Um, my birthday is coming up at the end of the month and I treated this as my birthday gift. So I'm very happy with all my purchases. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to show all of you. I loved every single thing that I purchased and I loved every single thing that I received from everybody. So I'm so excited. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, um, so <clears throat> I made my own stitching box, but I also bought a stitching box from Lorinda, the Mary Crow. And I'm so glad that I did because apparently she sold out of these boxes in less than 15 minutes. This is the stitching box that I bought from her. This one is so cute. Um, if you have ever made these stitching boxes, you know how painful this can be depending on how much you take off and replay so this took a lot of time like mine took forever and mine isn't as well made as this so i chose the white box with the blue lining i really love it but this is everything that it came with it this is for 45 dollars, and it came with a needle minder this is so cute um a needle um there's like some really cute like pins in here these are all like most of these are handmade by lorinda um there's like these two ladies peeking out this is a measuring tape um it came with these like homemade tomato pin cushion a needle threader a spool of thread it comes with these scissors and this gigantic scissor fob if you look it says stitcher on it it is so pretty and it comes with this so i can't remember who told me i think it was amy she said that this is lorinda's grandmother or something like that so i thought that was really cute if that's the case um there is also these waxers that came with it so look how beautiful these are i they are so pretty i don't know if i want to use them <laughs> i use the um the thread wax and yeah really pretty but yeah this is what i purchased if you are interested in possibly purchasing a box you should go to check out her etsy store the mary crow on etsy i will make sure to put down the link on the description below so yeah i purchased this um 
Oh, you know what? I didn't talk about the project that I worked on during Stitch West. So I actually only worked on one project all weekend. Um, and I actually like it. I, I was able to really do a lot with it just because it was the only project that I worked on. So perks of, you know, when you stitch monogamously. But um, first of all, check out this project bag. Um, this is a project bag that I purchased from Jordan. Um, this is really beautiful. When she showed this on her floss tube, I was like, hello ma'am, make sure that you reserve one of these. So I Venmoed her ahead of everybody before she even finalized like her pricing and everything because I was like, this is the perfect project bag for birds of a feather which is the project bag that jordan and i started during stitch west and the project the only project that i worked on all weekend so this is what the pattern looks like birds of a feather by blackbird designs this is also known as the lollipop like like flowers or something like that because it does look like a lollipop um i call this the turtle flowers because i thought they look like turtles swimming turtles and this is how far i've gotten look how much i've gotten it's amazing how much like you can do when you really just concentrate on one but look it is amazing. Look at the turtle. Um, yeah, and now I'm filling in the one of the lollipop flowers here. Finished one of them. These are like the alphabet. It was so fun. Um, I bought this as like my stitching case. Um, oh, these are the... Um, these are the little gummy bears that I got from Debbie, Mama Bear Stitchy, Stitchery. She actually said, grab as much as you can. It was Sunday, so a lot of people were leaving. So I grabbed a few of them and I'm going to put them all. Can you believe it? She said she bought these gummy bears from Amazon and then she assembled it herself. She's very crafty. I will not have the patience to make all of these bears. Thank you so much. This is so cute. Um, but yeah, that was Birds of a Feather. So Birds of a Feather was my Stitch West start. Um, and I am stitching this with the Vicky Clayton Silk Packs. So these are the colors. They look amazing. Um, <clears throat> some of them are a little bit twisted. And I transferred it into these beautiful floss drops from Sweet Autumn Stitch. I also bought like a really cute like floss ring with the charms on it. But look how pretty. Um, I think my favorite color out of these is because I'm a child is this bright red one because the name of this is called Tarts Knickers. So red. The knickers of a tart. Um, yeah, and I was storing it into this bag that Tammy from our table have given everybody. So that was really pretty. Um, there's a few more freebies in here. Um, I also joined the raffle from Primrose. They did like a raffle. Um, they, they raffled off one of their quilts. That was beautiful. I bought some tickets. It was also, um, all of the proceeds go to a, um, go to a charity, um, for diabetes. Um, and so, yeah, diabetes runs in my family. And so I felt the need to support. Um, this is a needle minder from the Mary Crow that Amber gave me as a gift. Super cute. 
Um, and then there is my hedgehog and the hedgehog, hedgehog sticker. This is from Ray Stitching Sunshine. It was so funny. So she actually attached this while I was out and she attached it on my project. So I didn't actually notice this until I was stitching and I made eye contact directly with the hedgehog. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> super cute i love it so much so there's that and then all right let's see what's in this haul bag okay so <laughs> stitch west uh you get your lanyard you put like little like ribbons on it but they gave you this really big tote bag i didn't get one last year did they have one last year um if they didn't, good call this here. This fit everything. This is really heavy. You guys, my luggage was 44 pounds when I when I checked in my bag. And I flew regular because Salt Lake is pretty close to us up. It's like a two hour. So I didn't feel the need to like fly fancy. So it was my max limit was 50 and I got to 44. So that was, that was really close. All right, so let's go through my floss drops craziness. Um, I love Lorinda's floss drops from the Mary Crow. They are just very sturdy. She had a gigantic box full of floss drops. So I picked up a few to stock up because since I'm not sure if I'm going to be there in October. But I picked up a Christmas set. They are beautiful. Like, has like a barn. Like reindeers and snowman and all of these things. So, picked one up. Um, I also, like, I picked up a bunch because I just love everything um let's see jordan got me floss drops for my birthday so i got a few so this one is super cute it even comes with like the little like pin or not pin um like this little rabbit is so cute look what i got there's like a chicken more chickens i freaking love chickens has like little babies more chickens look at the rabbit that is so pretty um also got these alice in wonderland ones it is so pretty this matches the notebook that I got from Lorinda last year. She gave me some. Um, look at the rabbit. Um, and Alice. So pretty. I have a lot. Like, I stocked up and also, like, gifted. So, I am good for a while. Um, there's more chickens. Look how beautiful. Honestly, you guys, Lorinda's things are just so thick. Look how thick these are. Like, they are, they're, they're not flimsy. Okay, this one is a Valentine's Day theme. And I love that, like, the cutouts are, like, different shapes. So, like, this is, like, a heart-shaped one. And this is the reason why I chose this one because of Dumbo. Dumbo is my favorite ride at Disney. Always make sure we fly really high up. So, this is so cute. Absolutely love it. You're sweet. There was a funny one and it says, Sugar, you're some dish. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is so cute. Oh, I love it. Um, and this bag goes deep. Uh, there's more floss drops somewhere. Um, okay. What? 
Okay, this is the bag from Carolyn that I was trying to show all of you earlier, but it came with a bunch of like the little like floss wands. And apparently, I haven't tried this yet, but I did see it on other people's floss tubes that this thing is very sharp. And so it also came with this thing, like this scissor fob that says start today beautiful all right what else is in this bag we're gonna be here a while because it's gonna be a while um this is a um like a needle minder from amy x stitching and adventures um we went to stitchery express one of the nights i think we went saturday night i want to say or maybe friday night we went to stitchery express um by the way shout out to the three ladies that i met over there and we took a picture so hi hannah nancy and brooke it was so nice to meet all of you um and yeah thank you so much for saying hi and everything i really appreciate it um but yeah i got this really pretty one from amy Oh, and also, um, Amy, um, got me, this is the birthday gift from Amy. There is one more, but it's somewhere along here, but I got a tarot card pack from her and it's the kawaii edition. Um, really cute, kawaii. I don't actually know how to use a tarot card, but it does come with instructions, so I'm going to play it. Really pretty. Um, and... She also got me a one eighth yard of this beautiful fabric from Farm Girl Dry Goods. The color name is Old Amana and it is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it is quite a lot in here um let me see okay i found it um and then amy also got me this super cute pattern this is called la poulette pinky from stacy nash look at that chicken i am so excited um so i think some of you have may have known this but like the first 10 years of my life, I lived in the Philippines. Um, my family didn't have chickens, but next door did, and they would cluck really loud <laughs> in the morning. Um, I actually even had a chicken alarm clock, like it would like start clucking. <laughs> and then you, you tap the little like red, like, crown at the top for it to stop <laughs> i'm very excited to do this this is super cute thank you so much amy um okay so um for primrose cottage during stitch west they also gave us this finishing fabric um sunday morning right before i left so i'm really happy i was able to like stick around sunday and they basically gave us this like, I I'm pretty sure this is like, yeah, this is a good size finishing fabric. So that's gonna look so cute. Very excited. Um, so they gave us that. Um, so for the retreat, they got us, oh, this was what was on the note when we got to um we got there friday um this was the note that was in there um it says this is for the bee that i showed you earlier it just says it's to keep you company so that was super cute what else um okay so um <clears throat> for the stitch west exclusive this is the Stitch West Design Exclusive. This is called Honey Bees and Stitching Please. 
it is super cute but so this is the stitch west exclusive pattern um this is not going to be available for the general public until like later on so that one's super pretty um i'm definitely going to stitch that and then on top of that they gave us the entire set of dmc to use to stitch that it also came with fabric i believe they said this is the 25 count um lugana to finish the project of course there's a b so you have everything that you need to start the project and on top of that they also gave us the finishing um the finishing for it so it comes with the backing fabric the rick crack that goes around and this felt in here that you can use to patch it up so they also included the link to the video tutorial to finishing the pillows which i'm pretty sure is the finishing tutorials that i watched to finish the other <laughs> pillows that i made so really happy um this was such a good retreat gift like that one was really good um and then while we were there we um primrose showed us some exclude not exclusives but um there is this accompanying um design this is called honey bee quilt that you can purchase separately and for now they basically was um this is not yet available for the general public as well like it will not be available until later so i went ahead and um pick this one up as well i really like this this is the honey bee quilt they also had another one i think it's like a vase um but i didn't pick that one up i really like this i was super drawn to it so i went and got this one and it also um trying to figure out there's just so much um geez what else did i get from them um i got like a free notepad from when i checked out so that honey bee came um i also went ahead and purchased a finishing kit for that one so that is that i um they also said that the dmc that they gave us will also use that to um stitch that other quilt so that one was super fun so i said okay sounds good i will do that and then i also bought their 12 monthly minis i don't have the chart because they actually ran out of stock so they are going to mail it to me when it's ready but i went and bought the finishing pack for all 12 mini pillows because they had it all in this place so that one was pretty i also purchased the entire mini um, pin pack for the 12 month oh um sorry um so that honey bee quilt um the finishing kit also comes with the b pins which are right here so it that one was also one of the reasons why i purchased it because i really love the bees so yeah this is for the 12 month minis um what else i found more flash drops from lorinda um yeah i'm just gonna be pulling everything out of this bag but this one are the little bunnies again very spring i love it Pretty. okay um let's see i found some freebies that i got um this is a freebie from cherry tree cottage design by michelle peters preston um and it is basically two skeins of dmc and candy beautiful um I got this one called Stitch West Spring in like a floss ring. This is from Jackie Beechner of Jax's Creative Inspirations. Super cute. She also brought her dog at the retreat. So I, man, I saw the dog. It was so cute. There's that. Um, what else? Um, 
I got this floss drops. Um, this is from Kim Knowles, Crystal Day, and Pat Bird. Um, and this says Delicate Arch. So it comes with like a floss ring, floss drops, and then there's threaders and I believe a needle minder. So super pretty. I'm excited. I love all of these free gifts. I found more floss drops. <laughs> uh, more floss drops. These ones with like flowers and a honeybee. This one has super cute ones. Um, what else? This is a soap that they passed around the last day. Thank you for being here. And it is a honeycomb. This is from Debbie and Tefrin Snug Harbor Crafts. We'll put together this amazing retreat. Okay. What, what other goodies? are in here i'm trying to see if there's any other of the freebies before i head over to the rest of my purchases all right i think it might no there's one more um i don't know who made this but this is really cute as well Look, they made the like a honeybee, like in these little hoops. So beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about the other purchases. So I purchased that bag, that flower bag from Jordan. I also purchased this one as well. It is so pretty. I think it's like a really good like fall project bag. I have a bunch of fall projects that I'm starting this year. So I thought it would be perfect. So I picked one up. Beautiful. Um, I have to stop by Sherry's table to pick up. First of all, I saw this. This is a bee kit. So a bee project bag. I purchased this for my sister because she loves bees this is stitches by cheryl k so beautiful and she was so sweet she found me a snoopy bag because oh. i said do you have any dog ones and she's like no i only have cats and then she found it on her stash and She's like, do you want this one as well? Yes, please. Okay. Um, next to Jordan was this other booth called Joyful Stitching. And look what I found. Look, look at this owl. They're so cute. I couldn't help myself. I bought this and the Tiny Notions bag. She sold it to me as a set because she said that's cheaper that way. So really appreciate it it is very well made as well so really excited to use these and then finally there is this woman i can't remember her name but I purchased these project folios from her. They are beautiful and very, very affordable. This folio is only $55. Look how well made this is. So I purchased two. This is like the one with the dragonfly. It has like a, like a snap and this is what the inside looks like. It is so well made. There's like pockets in here and in here and then the vinyl fronts. It's so well made. It's amazing. I will put down 
her info as well. And it's this one, this one where, the, where I was just like, I need to have it because I love this fabric. I need to learn how to make these, but oh, so pretty. I can't wait. This, I think I have an idea of what project I want to put in here. It's so beautiful. Okay. Um, Live and Die LA was also in there. I have never had, I've never tried any of their um, products before. So I picked up a few linens to try. I picked up three. So I picked up a 40 count latte. The color, yep, 40 count latte a 40 count cream pie yeah that's a great color and a 36 count malt of the earth yeah that's the proper color so that's from live and die la i love trying out new dyers um i think they're really fun um, okay, so I mentioned I went to Stitchery Express. I also went ahead and picked up a few fabrics. This one is a mystery fabric. Uh, she said this is a fox and rabbit. I I told her I think this is ballet slippers, but she said it she doesn't have that in stock. So I'm going to see if it is or not. Um, for now, this is mystery. This is on 40 count, like quarter fat quarter and then I actually purchased my first fabric flare fabrics I would have never thought about purchasing this until I saw some of the model stitches so I picked this up it has like this like vintagey like you know kind of like that like motifs that you see like like that road like in the old like period drama so I'm thinking this fabric would be perfect for Baker's wife what do y'all think I'm thinking Baker's wife so I picked up a fat quarter and I'm because I've been planning on I'm thinking about restarting Baker's wife and I think this is the fabric for it. I'm so excited. I'm going to do that in May next month. And then I picked up the other one, the more like just goldish neutral, because I figured I have the other one called Duchess of Rowan. And I figured if that works out for Baker's wife, then I have an accompanying one for Duchess of Rowan. So yeah, these are fabric flares. For those that are not aware of have ever heard of it, it's printed. So this is the front. The back is white. So you you need to stitch on the right side of this. Um, they have it in different counts. I purchased 32 count because that's what I do for all of my fancy ladies. So beautiful. All right. Um, I picked up a lot of fancy flosses for a lot of my kits or a lot of my um, patterns. Um, <clears throat> what else? Okay, so all of these are purchases from Stitchery Express, including the fabric flare. Um, so I also purchased and kitted up every opening flower by Brenda Gervais from With Thy Needle and Thread. I have been wanting to stitch this since I saw this stitched up um, by multiple people. They just look so, so beautiful. I love this so much. And someone brought in their, um, their finished project on the brag table, so that was beautiful. So I went ahead and found this. They, I couldn't find this at Shepherd's Bush. So when I saw this at Stitchery Express, I just went ahead and grabbed a copy. So yeah, this is every opening flower. Um, 
So this is my Brenda Gervais era. I'm a little like late bloomer. <laughs> and so for this trip, a majority of my purchases are with Dye Needle and Thread. Um, so I picked up Spring Awakens. It is so cute. Um, Spring Fling because I have um, Hoppy Easter and I thought like they would make such good companion. I also picked up Peter and Peep. Look at those chickens. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Ah, so obsessed. I also finally picked up a copy of Seasons of the Heart. I have been wanting to stitch this because both Jordan and Lauren from New Hampshire, Hampshire Stitcher were stitching these and they look so good that I wanted to also have a copy and make it make one for myself. So it comes with all the seasons. There's spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It's so pretty. Um, what else? <clears throat> okay. And then my last few things that I purchased from Stitchery Express. I picked up my one and only Hands Across the Sea um, pattern. This is Jane Hopkins, 1875. A life empty of love will have no roses. I fell in love with this. This is huge. Like this, this is ginormous. But I picked this up. I saw it stitched fully in DMC and it looked amazing. So... I really wanted to get this and stitch this. This is amazing. So I'm going to stitch this all in DMC. I don't think I'm going to do the NPI, uh, the, the fancy flosses. The called for are Soie d'Alger and Soie 100.3. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do DMC. Beautiful. And then finally, they were also out of this at Shepherd's Bush. So um, Cindy from Stitcher Express managed to find me a copy. This is Serenity from Teresa Kogut. Um, I decided not to pick this up when market opened just because like I wasn't going to stitch this, but I knew I wanted to have a copy for my collection. So I'm so happy to be able to find one. So yeah, this is Serenity. All right, y'all. The only thing that's left are my Shepherd's Bush. Um, my Shepherd's Bush haul. It is huge. I'm so excited. I absolutely love Shepherd's Bush. It is just a completely different experience than like, I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. The, um, it's just that the, like the store just has like this, it's like my Disneyland version of like what an LNS is. It's like, it is so beautiful. There's so many beautiful model stitches everywhere. They do do conversions sometimes and their conversions are just amazing. I was instantly influenced. So a lot of these I may have picked up because I saw their own conversion and I wanted it myself. So I'm really excited to share it. There, I drink this water. Okay, so how should I do this? Okay, so I have four bags. Four bags for the three days that I was there. Because the first day, I had them kick me up something. The first day was the heavy day. That was the one where I had the highest purchase out of all three days. So this is my day one purchase. So first of all, I have two bags from day one. The reason for that is they kindly kitted me up Autumn at Hawkron Hollow um, for their conversion. So look how beautiful their packaging is. They even have like ribbons on this. So I'm very excited to unpack this with you. I have not opened this since I purchased it. So 
Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. If you go to Shepherd's Bush, it is at the back wall in the back. They have their model stitched. They did their own conversion. And so I have always wanted it. But last year they were out and I wasn't able to get it when I was there in October. So this time around, I went ahead and got it. So the only thing is, unfortunately, they were out of the chart. So I had to order my chart from 123 Stitch. It's coming. And then um, they went ahead and kitted up all of the converted flosses for me. So I'm not going to share the conversion because it is like the color chain is from Shepherd's Bush. You can only have access to the color conversion if you buy the chart or the flosses from them. So I got all of the flosses and I also had them cut me the piece of fabric. So the fabric that I chose for, for Autumn at Hawk Run is called Ligonier, Ligonier Latte. I kept saying Legionnaire's Latte, but I know Legionnaire is like a disease. So maybe it is Ligonier. This is from R&R. &R, and this is cut to size. This is a special cut for um, Autumn at Hawk Run, which is skinnier. So it's like long and skinny. So this is a fat half of that. And this is on 36 count. Look how beautiful. Me and the ladies at Shepherd's Bush. Um, yeah, it's quite large. I love this so much. It's so pretty. I am obsessed. I'm so excited to start this. I'm going to start this soon when I get my chart. Um, and there are a million, million flosses it says there's 63 plot flosses and one silk and gather so 23 classic color works 19 weeks dye works and 21 gentle arts equals 63 plus one silk and gather it's a lot of flosses y'all and i know yeah it's gonna be epic i love this so much so that was part of my day one haul and then the next part of day one haul. I love this. I'm so excited to show y'all. The way that they package it, look, they even have a ribbon that says thank you. Um, okay, so I got a bunch of stuff. So I got Flag Thief from Plum Street Samplers. I saw the model stitch, it was amazing. It wasn't a conversion, but I really wanted it. So I went ahead and bought Flag Thief. I also purchased Floral Etchings 2 by Heart and Hand. And I originally like didn't care for this as much as other people, but when I saw this as a huge finished pillow, I knew I had to stitch this. So I went ahead and got the second one which is the one that I liked more. And I'm gonna turn this into a pillow. I'm gonna stitch this on like probably like a 20 count, two over two, so it's like a 10 count. It's gonna be gigantic. I love it. Um, I picked this up called Three Tulips from Brenda Gervais. Like I said, I am on my With Thy Needle era. Um, I bought this because I saw the conversion from um, I saw the conversion from Shepherd's Bush and it looked amazing. So I'm going, I basically kitted this up with their conversion. So super excited. Three tulips. <clears throat> I picked up a witch in her garden. I want to learn how to finish this into this really cute thing that looks like a pumpkin. I love this so much. I'm going to learn how to do this. A Witch in Her Garden. I picked up Light of Winter. So excited I was able to grab that pattern. Um, I also picked up Tulip Festival. 
again i saw this with their conversion and loved it so i um i kitted that up santa stops here i want to stitch this so bad i saw a bunch of people finish this and i love this <sighs> I also got a few more spring. This is Hen and Chicks. This is Boo to You. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my god. And this is Plum Pudding. Oh, these are so cute. I also picked up a few fabrics, so I picked up a quarter of Brenda's Rue from R&R. Look at that. Oh, I love this so much. Brenda's Brew. I almost went without it, but I was like, no, I'm just going to get it. Um, I went ahead and bought more Winter Brew from um i think this is also r and r yeah winter brew because this is called for in a lot of brenda gervais um patterns and so i wanted more and i got a another one from r and r i don't get a lot of r and r this is espresso oh look so beautiful this one is a 36 count winter brew is also on 36 so excited and then i kitted up a lot of those um patterns that i showed you <laughs> and this is my floss bouquet i love this so much a kind of bouquet i wish that if i had got married i would have like <laughs> this should have been my bouquet <laughs> oh this makes me so happy um okay so that was day one um that was so fun that was also like we went early because we really want to get ahead of our shopping but then like man everyone had the same idea so it got really hot. <laughs> that was day two. Okay, I mean day one. Now day two, we came back. I can't remember why we came back. We just came back. Oh, and we ate at Slackwater afterwards. It was yummy. Or was that day one? I can't remember. Um, anyway, so day two... Day two was a lot tamer. I got October from the Cricut Collection. I got this because again, there is a conversion for this. So I went ahead and get it and gotten it. And then I was so excited because I was then able, I was like browsing through in the back. I didn't realize I missed a bunch of areas and i found this one that i have been looking for called be ye thankful so i think this would be such a great accompanying piece to my to spring fall edition this is be ye thankful so going to stitch that one this year and then i picked up so i kitted up be ye thankful a mini floss bouquet okay and then i picked up two chart two kits from shepherd's bush i was super excited so the first one that i picked up is all is calm um i saw this like this um i saw this as like a model stitch it was so beautiful I asked them if they have any more and they did. So I went ahead and grabbed one. And then the other one, I'm gonna start it this October. This is called Be Frightful. Look at that. 
Oh, it is so cute. I am so excited. Be frightful. I'm going to stitch this with Amy, X Stitching in Adventures. I'm putting it out there on floss tube so she can't back out. Right, Amy? <laughs> okay, we'll stitch that one in October or sometime. So that was day two. See, that was a lot smaller. Now, day three. Day three, I really came for one, one reason. And that is, I could not leave Utah without picking up a shepherd's bush stocking. But before we get into that, I kept looking at the front because their line is always long. So I also <laughs> picked up this one called Home Sweet Home. It's patriotic, again, matches the whole pillow side that I have. So, and they have a shepherd's bush conversion. So I'm going to stitch this one this July. I've never stitched anything patriotic. And so I think I'm going to start with this. Really pretty. So I picked this up as I was waiting to check out. But the reason why I went ahead is because... I couldn't leave without picking up a stocking. If you've never been to Shepherd's Bush, make sure that you check out the stockings. They are gigantic, but they are beautiful. And I fell in love with Lula. This is Lula. Lula is so cute. Look at the little sheeps and everything. This is Lula. I am so in love with Lula. I need to come back to Shepherd's Bush in the future because I need to pick up the backing fabric for this. They don't have any more for Lula, so I figured that's okay. Um, I'll just pick that up when I'm finished to, and ready to turn this into a beautiful stocking, but I'm super excited. Lula is just beautiful. I can't wait. I will be back when Lula is done because I gotta go pick up Birdie. Birdie is going to be my second stocking after I finish with Lula, but look how pretty. Oh, and it came with everything. They fully kitted this up for me. I am actually just missing one that they ran out of, which is Onyx from Weeks Dye Works, but these are like the wool. So I just got to go pick that up later when I'm ready. But other than that, everything is so good. Look, they even give you the big needle that you need because it's not on like a regular like fabric. I'm so excited. Lula! Anyway, that is it for my haul for Stitch West. And I... <laughs> I, I hope you made it at the end. Um, I love haul. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you um, all enjoyed my video. I enjoyed meeting every single one of you. Um, and I hope to see you all soon at the next retreat or on Instagram or FlossTube. Oh, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, you all. Like, I'm super excited. I... I keep getting amazed every time I post a video of how many views it gets just because like I'm really appreciative of every single one of you and I always love it when you all come up to me. Um, I know what it takes to come up to people. I have been on your shoes so in your shoes so it's always great to meet everybody and be able to connect. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and yeah, thank you all so much and I will see you on your on my next video. Bye.